A social norm is an expected form of behavior in a given situation. While researching social norms to test, one stood out to us that had not been tested frequently by teens. Talking to yourself is usually viewed as a sign of schizophrenia, a long-term mental disorder of a type including a breakdown in the relationship between thought, emotion, and behavior, leading to faulty perception, inappropriate actions and feelings, withdrawal from reality and personal relationships in a fantasy and delusion, and a sense of mental fragmentation, which mostly develops in ages 15 to 25. Talking to yourself can also be a sign of sanity in this age because of the constant noise surrounding a person, i.e. music, television, and cars, by actually making you smarter through complimentary, motivational outer dialogue and goal-setting self-talk. In order to conduct our experiment, we needed a recording device, a place to conduct the experiment, Panera Bread to be exact, a recorder for the experiment, an initiator for the experiment, and people surrounding the initiator, otherwise known as the target group. We chose to head to the green to conduct the experiment because it was the bustling metropolis that we needed and it would be easier to not be noticed as people just conducting an experiment. We kept in mind that the, the person initiating the experiment would not be acting crazy or try to make a scene. Rather, they would make it seem as natural as possible. Our hypothesis was that if a person speaks to themselves in a public place, two-thirds of the surrounding test group slash people passing by will react by giving curious or confused looks. Other experiments have been conducted that are similar to ours, but they are most commonly done by adults. By changing the initiator of the experiment, we could possibly change the reactions of the subject. Since I couldn't record the experiment well enough for you to see people's reactions and not be seen myself, Julia will explain all that she saw after the experiment video has been played. My main observation when I was doing the experiment was um, a lot of weird looks were given, which was sort of what we expected. Um, we definitely thought that people were going to be looking at me really weird and sort of like talking about me amongst themselves if they were in a group. I had someone across from me at a different table who thought I was talking to him probably half the time that I was talking to my imaginary person. Um, he often would look up at me and laugh or just would give me kind of a weird glare. Um, at one point I showed him or my imaginary person my phone and I was flipping through pictures of an event that happened and he thought I was showing him the pictures and he was looking at them. And then there was also a family that was across from me that the, they had um, some little kids and the kids would ask who I was talking to and why I was talking to myself and the parents were like saying no 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 don't watch her and they were like sort of covering her eyes like it was some terrible thing that I was talking to myself so what we were thinking what was going to happen was just kind of dirty looks we didn't really expect that people were going to think that I was talking to them or that I was kind of an abomination to society for talking to myself, but um, that's what kind of happened, and the little kids were just kind of looking at me a lot and listening to what I was saying, and they kept asking their parents why I was talking to myself and who I was talking to, so that's what happened during my experiment.